Hi, my name is Laura, together with my friend Ellie, and um, we're going to tell you a little bit about some different groups of animals. So we teach classifications here at Nosley because you can't come to us, we're going to come to you instead. So the first group um, of animals that have bones, and they are called the vertebrates, the first group is the mammals, and one of the characteristics that mammals have is that they are covered in hair or fur. So we have lots of hair on our heads, but mammals have, other mammals have fur all over their bodies. So I have got some fur here from one of our mammals. Try and guess what you think it is at home. I'll give you a clue. It begins with the letter C, and it lives in the desert, and it has humps on its back. So this here is fur from our camels. This just fell to the floor and then we were able to pick it up to show to you. So it's lovely and soft. Does it smell? Doesn't smell very nice, no. So you can try and find some mammals in your home um, that have fur or go and find anybody else in your family. They are mammals too. Some other mammals that we have are our lions. So this here is part of a lion's mane, okay? Now only the males have the manes of hair around the head and this is some from one of ours. Okay, so that is mammal fur. And then the last one is from an animal that you might not think is very hairy, but they do have hairs at the end of their tails. So this here is some elephant hair. Okay, now it doesn't feel nice and soft like the other ones. This feels very, very wiry. Okay, so very much like wire. So the mammals have hair or fur. Now try and find out um, what else the mammals have in common. Now the other thing about mammals is that they give birth to live young. So mammals do not lay eggs, apart from two. Do you know which two they are? They come from Australia. You can look that up later. But here is some footage of some of our baby mammals at the safari. So all of the mammals give birth to live young, that then feed on milk from the mother.